your sports gear and get ready for some serious competition. This is Flash Pearl TV and today we're bringing you the greatest Zimbabwean sports men and women of all time. For this list we're looking at the best of the best from the most popular sporting disciplines in the nation of Zimbabwe. We are bending the rules and allowing more than one name to feature per sport as some of these athletes are just too incredible to be left out on the bench. Martial Arts Samson Muripo The master karateka packs a mean punch and has the accolades to prove it. In 2009, Sensei Samson Muripo made headlines after becoming Africa's first ever world karate champion after winning gold at the first World Cup Open Karate Tournament held in Osaka, Japan. On the road to the title, Muripo fought and defeated Spanish, Kazakhstani, German, Australian and Japanese champions in the men's middleweight category. At the same tournament, Muripo won the prize for best technical fighter. Samson Muripo has since followed his 2009 success with a silver medal win at Higashi Nippon International Openweight Karate Tournament in Japan 2010. Other notable career achievements include winning gold and silver medals in South Africa at a 2008 and 2013 karate tournament respectively and another silver medal at a tournament in Kazakhstan where he also won the Fighting Spirit Award after battling through a severe case of food poisoning. Swimming Kirsty Coventry. This Zimbabwean swimmer and former world record holder was born in the city of Harare on the 16th of September 1983. Her talents in the water began to take float at Dominican Convent High School, where in 2000, while still a student, she became the first Zimbabwean swimmer to reach the semi-finals at the Sydney Olympics that earned her the title of Zimbabwean Sportswoman of the Year. In 2002 and 2003, Kirsty swam competitively for Urban University in Alabama, USA, where she specialized in the 200 meter and 400 meter individual medley, as well as the 200 meter backstroke. With a staggering seven Olympic medals, Kirsty Coventry is the top African Olympian with more medals than any African in any sport in history. Kirsty is also the top individual female swimmer in the history of the Olympic Games. Her Olympic record is as follows. At the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens, Greece, Coventry won three Olympic medals, gold, silver, and bronze. Then at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing, China, Coventry won an additional four medals, gold and three silver medals. Her illustrious career also includes a streak of gold, silver medals at various world championships over the years as well as record-breaking swimming times at the all africa games and at world events diving evan stewart and tracy cox smith these two individuals represented zimbabwe in the olympic sport of diving tracy cox smith is a retired springboard diver whose most notable achievements in the sport are a Commonwealth Games silver medal in 1990 as well as competing at the 1988 and 1992 Olympics. Evan Stewart represented Zimbabwe at three consecutive Summer Olympics starting in 1992. Stewart won silver and a bronze medal at the 1994 Commonwealth Games in Victoria, Canada and won gold in the 1998 Commonwealth Games Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Stewart also won a gold medal at the 1994 World Championships in Rome, Italy for the one meter springboard event. Evan Stewart is the son of former field hockey player Anthea Stewart who was part of the gold medal winning Zimbabwean women's team at the 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow. Golf. Nick Price. Born in 1957 in Durban, South Africa to British parents. Nick Price moved to Zimbabwe, then Rhodesia, we attended Prince Edward School and captained the golf team. He is at present a dual citizen of the United Kingdom and Zimbabwe. As a professional golfer, Price has achieved 50 career wins to date, including three major championships in his career. The PGA Championship in 1992 and 1994 
as well as the Open Championship in 1994. Price topped the PGA Tour money list in 1993 and 1994, setting a new earnings record on both these years. Even more remarkable was his 43-week stay in the mid-90s as the number one golf player according to the official golf world rankings. During his early career and peak, Price was one of the best ball strikers in the game, able to drive the ball long and exceptionally straight. With his irons, he had the ability to manipulate the direction and flight of his shots, unlike many other players. Nick Price continues to play professionally, although he has expanded into golf design. With his own company operating out of Florida, USA, where he currently resides. He also has his own line of signature golf apparel and is still widely regarded by the media, fans and his fellow players as one of the most likable golfers of the PGA Tour. Tennis. The Blacks, Byron, Wayne and Cara. The children of Donald and Velia Black, brothers Byron, Wayne and their sister Cara left a powerful impression on the sport of tennis in Zimbabwe. Byron, the oldest of the three, began playing tennis at his father's grass court in Highlands, going on to represent both Prince Edward and Oreos Boys High School in his teenage years. Turning pro in 1991, Byron went on to achieve great things, including reaching the quarterfinals of the 1995 US Open. And the same round at Wimbledon in 2000. He achieved a career-high single ranking of number 22 in the world in June of 1996. Even more impressive were his feats as a doubles player where he became number one in the world in February 1994, winning the 1994 French Open while partnering with Jonathan Stark. Wayne Black played league tennis for Highland Sports Club in Harare, later attending the University of Southern California where he became an All-American in singles and doubles in 1993 and 1994. Turning pro in 1994, Wayne represented Zimbabwe winning two men's doubles, Grand Slam titles at the US Open in 2001 and at the Australian Open in 2005 with compatriot Kevin Hewlett as well as two Grand Slam mixed doubles titles at the French Open in 2002 and at Wimbledon in 2004 with his sister Cara. Wayne Black reached a career high doubles ranking of world number four in January 2005. Cara Black, the youngest of the tennis trio, turned pro in 1998. Arguably the tennis gem of the family, Car has racked up a phenomenal one WTA and six ITF titles, playing singles and a staggering 60 WTA and 11 ITF titles playing doubles, as well as five career titles playing mixed doubles. Kara achieved a formidable career high ranking of number 31 in the world in the singles on March 15, 1999. World number one in doubles on October 17, 2005, and a ranking of world number four in doubles on March 23, 2015. Boxing Langton Tinago. In the sport of boxing, Langton Tinago, born on the 28th of September 1949 in Shurugui, had a successful career as a professional boxer in the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Nicknamed Schoolboy. Tanago defied all odds by winning a record three Commonwealth titles in the lightweight, super featherweight, and welterweight boxing divisions, respectively. These achievements earned Tanago broad recognition and a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. Langton left the ring with a record of 107 fights, 83 wins, with 16 KOs, 20 losses, 3 draws, and 1 no contest. Hockey, Zimbabwe Women's National Field Hockey Team of 1980. The first and still the greatest single achievement of Zimbabwean hockey was the Olympic gold medal winning 
women's team at the 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow, Russia, then USSR. A fairy tale in the making, the newly formed nation of Zimbabwe, in its maiden year as a new country, won a hockey tournament on the greatest stage and even more seemingly absurd was the circumstances under which it took place. The opportunity arose when American-led Olympic boycott of the Moscow Games left gaps in the competition to be filled by the likes of Team Zimbabwe. A squad of 16 women was assembled, all from Zimbabwe's white minority, less than a month before the tournament was set to begin. Adding to the lack of adequate preparation was the fact that the women of the Team Zimbabwe had never before seen artificial turf, which they eventually played on to win in Moscow. With wins against Poland and the USSR, followed by draws with Czechoslovakia and India, the Zimbabweans won the competition on the final day with a 4-1 thumping of Austria. Fittingly dubbed the Golden Girls by local media, the title was well earned considering Zimbabwe did not win another Olympic medal until the swimming heroics of Kirsty Coventry in 2004. Cricket The Flower Brothers, Andy and Grant When speaking of cricket legends in Zimbabwe, the names Andy Flower and Grant Flower must be in the conversation. Older brother Andy began playing his trade at Oriole Boys High School and Vinona High School in Harare, playing most of his career alongside younger brother Grant. Andy Flower was Zimbabwe's wicketkeeper for more than 10 years and statistically by far the finest batsman the country has ever fielded. His accomplishments as a wicketkeeper batsman are comparable to the likes of Australian legend Adam Gilchrist. In his career, Andy played 63 test matches for Zimbabwe, scoring 4,794 runs at an average of 51.54 and taking 151 catches and 9 stumping dismissals. He played 213 one-day internationals, scoring 6,786 runs at an average of 35.34 and taking 141 catches and 32 stumping dismissals. He holds the Zimbabwean record for most test career runs the highest test batting average and the most ODI career runs. He is the only Zimbabwean in the ICC's top 100 all-time test batting rankings at number 31 as of November 2013, putting him in the company of Brian Lara, ranked 23rd, Sachin Tenduga, ranked 29th, and Rahul Dravid, ranked 33rd. Andy shares his position of number 31 with Australian legend Steve Waugh. Andy's brother Grant Flower is also rated amongst the best Zimbabwean cricket players in history for both his left arm spin bowling and fine batting skills. Grant played 67 test matches in his career, bowling 3,378 balls, claiming 25 wickets. With a bowling average of 61.48, he played 221 ODIs, bowling 5,462 balls, claiming 104 wickets with a bowling average of 40.62. By the end of his ODI career, Grant Flower had taken more wickets than any other Zimbabwean bowler except Heath Streak. Nicknamed Flower Power, the combination of Grant and Andy Flower was a terrific force in Zimbabwe batting for over a decade. Athletics, Elliot Njaji, this speedster and Paralympian was a member of Zimbabwe's national athletics team when he qualified to compete in the 1998 Commonwealth Games before suffering severe burns in an electrical accident while at work. His right arm was amputated, leaving the athlete in a coma for two months. Always the fighter, Mujaji beat the odds and recovered to resume training where he qualified to compete at the 2000 Summer Paralympics in Sydney, Australia. Mujaji proved a world beater, claiming the gold medal 
in the men's 100 meters final. He then cemented his place in Zimbabwean athletics history when he repeated this feat at the 2004 Paralympics in Athens, Greece, powering to yet another man's 100 meters gold medal. Mujaji is the first ever Zimbabwean Paralympian to scoop a gold medal in competitive track and field. And from what he has been through personally, the praise is well deserved. Rugby. David Pocock. Growing up in a farm area just outside of Gweru, this colossal figure in world rugby began playing the sport as an eight-year-old at Midlands Christian School. He then migrated with his family to Brisbane, Australia in 2002, where he attended the Anglican Church Grammar School. In 2005, he played in the school's undefeated premiership winning first 15 alongside future Wallabies teammate Quade Cooper. A 2006 Super Rugby debut for the Western Force and the Wallabies debut in 2008 were the start of a respectable career that has been on the rise ever since. 2009 was a breakthrough year for the rugby superstar whose greatest contributions on the pitch have come playing at positions of open side flanker and eighth man. Featuring in 13 of the 14 tests Australia played that year, scoring his debut try and having the honor of replacing injury-stricken Wallaby legend George Smith at open side flanker was a testament to David's abilities and the faith shown in him by those in his camp. Winning numerous Man of the Match awards at the highest level of competitive rugby. Earning his stripes, he has captained the Wallabies in 2012, was named Brumby's vice captain in 2013, and had a stellar year in 2015 that included two opening fixture tries for his adopted country of Australia in the World Cup Finals and accolades for his super rugby performances with the Brumbies that earned him the Brett Robertson Trophy for the Brumbies Player of the Year, the Best Forward and Fans Choice Award. David Pocock continues to perform and make Zimbabwe proud. Football. George Shire and Peter Ndlov. Arguably two of the greatest professional footballers to come out of Zimbabwe. These men shone brightly in two very different areas of the country's history. George Shire, born on the 30th of October 1946, played for Dynamos and the Rhodesian national team during the 1960s and 70s. Throughout his career, Shire had often been described as a midfield genius whose moves and dribbling skills tormented defenses. He is the only Zimbabwean player to win the coveted Soccer Star of the Year award a record five times, including the inaugural award in 1969. He also took part in the valiant Rhodesian football side that tried but ultimately failed to qualify for the 1970 FIFA World Cup. Peter Ndlovu played professionally in Zimbabwe post-independence as a striker from 1988 to 2011. His talents saw him play football locally as well as abroad, beginning at Highlanders FC in Zimbabwe, then applying his trade to Coventry City in the English Premier League. He then played in the English lower tier for Birmingham City, Huddersfield Town and Sheffield United. Later playing at Mamalodi Sundowns in the South African Premier Soccer League, Glovu went on to manage the same team after his playing career ended. Glovu earned a hundred caps for the Zimbabwean national team, the Warriors, with a goal scoring return of 38 goals in total for his country. Here are some honorable mentions. Thanks for watching. We would like to hear your opinions on Zimbabwean sporting grades. So be sure to leave comments in the section below. Subscribe to Flash Portal TV for more videos.